taste of naval power had at last won Russia a port on the Black Sea. But Peter wanted more. He wanted the secrets of the high-tech warships of the great Western navies. And so the Tsar of Russia left his kingdom to seek out the know-how he craved. No Tsar had ever before set foot outside the kingdom. No Tsar had ever even seen Europe. Peter was going to shatter tradition. The winter of 1697, Peter and some 200 nobles, craftsmen, musicians, servants, and a troop of dwarves headed west on a year and a half long European road trip. To escape the tedious burdens of royalty, the Tsar himself often masqueraded as a common sailor. He wanted to absorb as much knowledge as he possibly could without the trappings of uh, formality and court ritual and all of that. So he wanted to, you know, observe unnoticed. It was kind of difficult to be unnoticed, at, you know, at his height. But he didn't want, you know, didn't want to be known as the czar. He just wanted to be known as a traveling student. For a self-taught craftsman, Western Europe offered the ultimate education. He studied printing, iron casting, paper making, even how to render whale blubber. He took classes in surgery and anatomy in Leiden, art in Leipzig, and dentistry in Dresden. He was kind of a jack of all trade. He had such a passion for life and for experimentation that he not only wanted Russia to build a navy, but he wanted to learn how to be a shipbuilder himself. He wanted not only more Western style, more Western standards of medicine, but he himself practiced dentistry and practiced on some of his unfortunate men. I'm sure that his talents were pretty much limited to pulling out people's teeth, and <laughs> that was about it. He was an observing an anatomy course in Holland, and uh, they produced a dissected corpse. And all his comrades grew really squeamish when that happened. I mean, they were just repulsed by this, because it was just an unusual thing at the time. And Peter was just mortified at their squeamishness. He was uh, embarrassed and angry, and uh, in retaliation against it, he made every one of them stand up, march down to the table, and take a bite out of the corpse. It was, uh, it was just his way of saying, stop it. Peter's greatest hunger was for nautical science. In Holland's finest shipyard, he apprenticed himself to a master shipwright. Then Russia's carpenter czar learned how to build a 28-gun frigate from the keel up. But even with a Dutch ship of the line to his credit, Peter wasn't satisfied. The British ruled the seas, so the czar headed for England. He knows the reputation also of the British fleet, and the British very much cultivate that. They, so they provide a, a um, craft for him to sail on the Thames, and although he rams a couple of other vessels while he's learning to pilot this vessel, he does uh, enjoy this, and he, at the end of this, all says that uh, uh, all things being equal, he'd really rather be an admiral in the British Navy than anything else. The English offered Peter a fine manor house for his stay. The Tsar's host would come to regret the hospitality. And they tear the place up. They, they mess up the plantings, the hedge. <laughs> they shoot up the house. A few months later, a bill which was presented for damages caused to the house by the Russians. And, and these damages included paintings on the walls which had, had shots fired into them, paving stones ripped up, wi windows smashed, furni furniture soiled in various ways. He was, in, in, on some levels, a frat boy, you know, in, in that he would just uh, drink, drink himself silly. And uh, he would, you know, often on, while he was on tour around Russia, he would, I mean, in, around uh, Western Europe, he would be uh, visiting people's houses and there was, it just left a wake of destruction uh, behind him. When the rowdy Russians wore out their welcome in one land, they moved on to the next. July 1698, after 16 months on the road, Peter's entourage was partying in Vienna when an urgent message arrived from Moscow. Emboldened by Tsar Peter's extended absence, reactionary Streltsy regiments were stirring up revolt yet again. Peter's European apprenticeship ended abruptly. The jack-of-all-trade Tsar headed home to assert himself as Russia's unquestioned taskmaster. <laughs>